Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about the inventory replenishment models. So inventory replenishment models are used to optimally pick up the policy to manage the inventory. So when we are saying managing the inventory, that means we are talking about how much quantity we should order and when to order. And when we are talking about when to order, there are the two main components, whether we are thinking with respect to the time based order or whether we are thinking with respect to the quantity based order or whether we are thinking with respect to the combination because when we are saying the time based model we are going to pick that means we are going to order in a every specific after every specific time period like every month or every a year or every a quarter perspective when we are saying with respect to the quantity base then we have to see the inventory level when it is reached to a certain level then we will say okay now it's the time to reorder it okay so that means when we are talking about when to order we have to see whether we are thinking with respect to the periodic review systems periodic inventory models or whether we are thinking with respect to the continuous based inventory models okay so that means periodic is that purely the time based whereas the continuous is basically the quantity based okay so whenever we are going to select the inventory model so it has some certain key elements on which uh, on which basis we can pick up the particular inventory model such as uh, whether the time of the inventory status review okay so like as i told you earlier that if you are saying that uh, we are going to order it after every two months so that means the time is fixed then we are talking about the periodic review systems okay but if the continuous uh, we are monitoring the quantity of the product and then when it is reaches reaches to the certain level and based on that level we are going to order it then it means we are talking about the continuous inventory models then the nature of the demand is very important whether the demand of the particular product is constant or you can say known that is a deterministic inventory models okay whether it is the stochastic or the probabilistic if the demand vary okay or it is following some certain probability distribution there is some uncertainty then we have to pick up some probabilistic model depending upon uh, what kind of distribution the demand is follow then uh, whether the demand is varying which means that is we are talking about the dynamic demand like uh, in january what is the demand of the product in february it is changing in march it is changing when the time varying demand then we have the dynamic inventory models comes here we have the stochastic inventory model or you can say the probabilistic inventory model then we have the deterministic inventory models so similarly another factor is which is very important that is the replenishment lead time like when we are ordering and when we are getting whether that lead time is constant, whether it is varying with the demand or whether it is a stochastic. Similarly, the number of items under the management, whether we are managing only single product inventory, whether we are managing multi product inventory. Similarly, in a supply chain, the number of locations are important, whether the warehouse or the inventory we have at a single location or the multiple location similarly the possibility of the repetitive order so these are the different parameters or you can say the characteristics on which we have to pick the specific inventory model so other factors as well such as you can say the quantity discounts and so on okay so let me show the brief picture of the classification of the inventory model so we are selecting the inventory model whether we are going to manage the inventory of a single item or you can say single product or the multi items or we are talking about the ad some advanced models as well so when we are saying okay so we are going to uh, managing the inventory of the single item whether the demand is the deterministic or the stochastic okay mm -hmm. means it is known or constant then whether we are going to monitor the inventory with respect to the quantity based or a time base or whether the demand is changing over the time okay so if we are um, picking the inventory model or we are going to select when to order based on the quantity of the product okay means when it is reaches at a certain level then we have to pick up one of the continuous review model so we can start from the basic economic order quantity model in which the demand is constant and we can calculate the reorder point that 
uh, when the quantity of the product is reaches at a certain level then we are going to or reorder it okay how we can calculate it we can discuss in the upcoming videos similarly we can talk about the extensions of the economic or, uh, order quantity models such as the plan shortages if you are going to allow such as the quantity discounter models similarly we have the economic production quantity models okay so these are the you can say the extension of the economic order quantity models so the quantity discount models are basically you are saying that if you are going to order uh, more than the certain level so i am giving you the discount against the order like five percent or two percent and so on similarly we have the product review models that mean uh, when we are reaching up to a certain time level or you can say that uh, every quarter i am going to order it and the quantity would be the same so then we are talking about the product review models so this is i am saying we are talking about the dynamic inventory models when the demand is changing over the time okay so there are multiple dynamic inventory models we will talk about later such as you can talk about the economic lot sizing models capacity lot sizing models and so on similarly then uh, we are saying if the demand is stochastic then there could be the situation if we are talking about with respect to the uh, quantity based the ordering point whether the demand is changing and the lead time is constant there would be another inventory model if we have the constant demand but time with the lead time or you can say the replenishment lead time is varying then we have the different way to deal it if both are the stochastic there's a different way similarly for the periodic review similarly if we have the multi item models then we can deal with the economic order quantity model under some restrictions okay depending upon what kind of constraints you have similarly we have uh, other selective inventory models uh, similarly we have regarding the uh, advanced uh, models but in the upcoming lectures we will talk about starting from the single item models that will we will going up to the continuous review model and we will detail in detail discuss about the basic economic order quantity model so i hope you got the idea regarding on what basis we can select the uh, proper inventory model thank you so much see you in the next video